Hi, this is Anthony with Copley. Today I'll be showing how to connect to CME2 over UDP. I have an EtherCAT drive, a, the dual axes uh, plus drive, a BE2. And I have EtherCAT firmware inside of it. Uh, it doesn't matter if I had EtherNet firmware or EtherCAT. Uh, either one will be able to uh, connect to CME over UDP. So uh, right now, though, I'm connected over serial. Uh, I'm connected over serial because I have to set a bit in a uh, register. So um, the register is the network options parameter. Um, so I say, you know, get R0x121. Right now it's zero. That means that it's in EtherCAT mode. If I had Ethernet firmware in this drive, um, the parameter would be, uh, bit nine would be set in this parameter, meaning that it would be hex 200. So I'm actually going to set bit um, bit nine right now. So S R zero X one two one zero X two hundred. Okay, I'll do that again in Flash. So now um, UDP is enabled because I have an EtherCAT firmware inside of the drive, but I've set bit nine of that parameter one twenty one, the network options parameter. The next thing we'll need to do is to go into CME and un actually uh, unlock the uh, the, the uh, feature in the COM wizard. So I go to login. I just type in UDP CCC, and now that feature should be unlocked. So now go to tools, COM wizard, UDP. So we see it there. Click next. And this is the adapter I have connected to the drive. Click finish. And that's it. So um, yeah, this will work with Ethernet firmware or EtherCAT firmware. doesn't matter as long as that bit is set, uh, bit 9 of parameter 121. Uh, so yeah, that's this is how you connect to uh, CME over UDP. I hope this was helpful. Um, be sure to like and subscribe to Copy Control's YouTube page for more helpful tutorials.